You know, we talk a lot on this channel about reading greens. And reading greens is a learned skill. It takes time, practice, repetition to figure out how to stir up all of the soup or the recipe. Funny, I did a video a while back on a green reading recipe, but it takes a while to learn how to put all of the elements together to figure out how to get good at reading greens. Today I'm reviewing a product called Slope Grade that helps you learn to lead, read greens. You're going to be amazed at what this little thing that clips to my belt will do and will help you do in practicing and learning to read greens. And if you'll stick with me to the end of the video, I'll tell you how to get one at 25% off if you decide that you want one. Let's go. So I have a slope grade attached to my belt buckle right now, and that's what you do with it. You attach it to your belt buckle, center and midline, and it helps you practice, learn how to read the greens through an app that's on your phone. So let's check it out. So you turn on the slope grade, and before you use it every time you need to calibrate it, and then you get the slope grade app open. And let's say, let me find a golf ball. Let's say that this is my putt from here. Now, on the slope grade device, you tell the distance. So this is what, 15 feet? Let's call that 15 feet. It looks like 15. Oh. And again, this is practicing. You can't use it on the whole. So from 15 feet. And then you get on the line for your putt about one third of the way well there. So now I'm standing there straddling that 15 putt. And it tells you that this putt is one ball from the left edge, okay? And it'll, boom, one ball from the left edge. So let's go up a little further, almost to the hole. And let's do that again. And by the way, this comes with a nice instruction manual. Okay, so the slope grade says I need to aim this one ball from the left edge. So let's take a ball. I left the ball back there, but I'm going to put a ball marker down. Let's see. That's about one ball from the left edge, right? One golf ball would fit right there, maybe that much, okay? Make sense? Now let's line up on this putt. Oh, and before we make the putt, so I'm lined up, I put my ball marker there, one ball from the left edge is my target. And funny thing, when I read this putt, I swore it was gonna break right to left, and I missed it several times. So now I'm using the slope, slope grade, it says I misread the putt. So now I click on this little item, view speed grade, and I hope we can get that on camera, because you view speed grade, it pops up a screen that gives you a view of the putt. And it shows you, you can watch that as many times as you want, but it tells you 2.4 seconds. That gives me a feel of how hard to hit the ball. So think of how valuable this device is. If this device is right and it works, it gives me several things that helps me be a better putter and also be a better green reader. One is, I start looking around and going, looks to me like that putt goes right to left, but this thing says it goes left to right. What am I missing? And I start looking around and I see a high spot over here and I look around and I see the overall terrain. Yeah, it's gonna go that way. I missed that with my first look. But not only that, I see a lot of people when they're putting doing this. They think the ball is gonna go to the, and so they'll, try to manipulate it out there. They'll try to swing the curve of the ball, and that's a huge mistake. In putting, I can only hit the ball in a straight line, so I need to pick a straight line and aim at that. This device tells me that the straight line is one ball left of the cup. 
So I put a ball mark down there. Now I'm training myself not only to read greens, but to get the concept of trying to putt on a straight line and let gravity and friction do what it does that I can't control. Now let's see if the device was actually accurate and I can make the putt. How about that? Line up, aim where the thing tells you, and the ball goes in. So there's a lot more to that. I know some of you wonder, oh, what about putts that are double breakers? Well, if it says that the putt is six inches to the right, and then you get closer to the hole, and it says, oh, it's five inches to the left, we subtract that, which would mean six inches right minus five inches left. You start the ball one inch right, and it goes left and then comes back. Simple math, and they've got a whole instruction on that. You don't want to watch me for 45 minutes do every scenario with this thing. I've had it out on the golf course with a number of my friends and used it. It works for it, the measurements on the phone app go up to 30 feet. But I know on putts of like 25 or 30 feet, playing with it and having fun with some of my buddies, they're going like, no, it doesn't break that way. And I'll stick a T or a coin in the ground and say, trust me, and just hit it at that line. And they make the putt in the hole or it's a little long or short, it's very close, and they're shocked and awed. Using a device like this will help you get a feel for how to read greens. It'll speed up your progress there. It's compatible if you use aim point for reading greens. It's compatible if you use plumb bobbing or you use any of a number of other methods. So again, not inexpensive, but in my opinion, if you wanna learn how to read greens fast, it's well worth the money. Really will help you improve your green reading skills fast. And that leads to making more putts, which is what this channel is all about. So like, subscribe, share, comment below if you got questions about this product, email me. And in the meantime, here's to you making more putts.